Welcome. We're very pleased today to be joined by Dr. Nova Rianti Yusuf. She is a Member of Parliament for the Indonesian Government and also sits on Commission 9, which is looking at reforming the Indonesian healthcare system. Today we're going to be talking to her about Indonesia's journey to the road of universal healthcare coverage, the challenges ahead, and how the Indonesian universal healthcare coverage system is looking at shaping up uh, legislatively and in practice. Dr. Nova, welcome. Can you tell us about Indonesia's journey towards universal healthcare? Um, right now, the, um, the Social Safety Board is uh, the, the, the draft. The drafting of the bill is now in the process. Um, and we are in Commission Nine from the Parliament, and we are working on the drafting for the bill. And um, one of the issues that we are we're highlighting is about um, who will pay, and who will pay because true, it won't be cheap and there, there have been some catastrophic diseases, chronic diseases and also mental health patients. Uh, it won't be cheap and it might take f uh, forever. For instance, for psychiatric patients, it's like uh, they need a medication for their entire lives. So we are trying to be more um, realistic. I mean, this is very good, of course, for uh, like you said earlier, for the social enhancement of Indonesia. But at the same time, we also have to be realistic about the funding for this program. In the United States, healthcare funding and the new bill has been extremely contentious. Can you tell us how this is also affecting the debate in Indonesia? Uh, yes, the, the universal coverage is supposed to be attained in 2014, but the bill for the social safety bill, it will come out uh, sometime this year. Um, and uh, there will be four bodies, four bodies merged into one board. Uh, there will be one health insurance, the national health insurance, and then there will be Jamsostek. Jamsostek is a body responsible for the social security for the workers. Now, uh, Jamsostek uh, is opposed to the idea that they are not allowed to do investment once they are merged in this social safety board. Um, one of the faction in our commission, Commission 9, Commission 9 is responsible for health issues. Uh, one of the faction uh, sort of say, well, strongly say it actually, that you cannot have, uh, uh, you cannot do your investment anymore. You cannot have your investment program anymore. So, um, well, they're actually thinking about the idea that the investment must go on because it might be helpful for the, uh, for the funding of this program. But there have been some inputs uh, from this um, forum when they say it about taxation how it's done in UK, how they're using taxation to help to help fund the universal coverage program. But there will, there, there's also a problem in Thailand. They say um, they're supposed to, um, well, they're worried. First, they get primary health care, but then they need more. I mean, primary health care is just to refer you to the next level. Uh, and like I said, chronic disease, like, uh, climate change disease, lifestyle disease, catastrophic disease like cancer, cardiac, and mental health disease. For, for instance, psychotic schizophrenia patient, they, they need like long-term treatment. And then um, there's also uh, another input coming from experts in Indonesia. They said about the possibility of using the gasoline subsidy. But these are all still ideas because we still have to do more calculation on, on the possibility for the funding for this social saf safety bill. Of course, if you can achieve real universal health coverage in Indonesia, it will be the biggest advance in the social infrastructure the nation has ever seen. Can you tell us more about that? Well, uh, we would like to achieve that strongly. We would strongly like to achieve that, the universal coverage, because um, health is like the foundation for a productive person uh, for the productive country but the problem is of course we have to be realistic we have to do like a very thorough and meticulous calculation on how we are going to fund this program because we don't want this bill to be passed and then for the next level we are just going to let problems uh, take the best of this bill and then the people will start protesting again because we already have this um, uh, health coverage before this. It's called Jamkas Mas. This is, uh, I know, this program is focusing more on the poor people. But not all the poor people get the benefit. For instance, they cannot use uh, this coverage. 
due to some technical problems. And how we can be sure that this uh, coverage, universal coverage, is going to be um, more successful than the previous one, since the previous one cannot seem to be answering the problem for the poor. And we're talking about universal. You might, uh, if in the previous uh, healthcare coverage we were more worried about how to divine the poor, we might have problem divining the rich ones. Because, well, if you've got coverage, then why not? You want to use it oh, while well, we are expecting that they won't be using this coverage and instead they will use like private company insurance. Well, hopefully, but well, if you can use the free one, why use the other one? So how will the new bill and the new legislation be more effective than the previous legislation on health care for people? Yeah, because the problem with the previous one, you know, which is still happening right now, it's that we cannot divine um, the, the poor ones. We are having criteria, like you need to be this poor to be given uh, the privilege of using this healthcare coverage. So if we're using universal coverage, then there will be no criteria. Everyone will be covered. So I mean, well, that's very um, ideal, of course. It's very ideal, but yeah, there are obstacles. And of course, um, this just as well as the United States, they're also having problem with the funding. So we cannot say that we are not worried about the funding. Well, some of my uh, colleagues in the in Commission 9, they don't seem to worry because they are more concerned about how to get this draft to pass. Dr. Novi Youssef, thank you very much for your time today and all the best with what is a remarkable journey for the Indonesian healthcare system. That's it from me. Look forward to seeing more of you. Thank you very much.